ladies and gentlemen, you will own the world wide web. This entire planet, Earth, globe, is going decentralized. Decentralized simply means the spider organization, the central head of centralizing everything and monopolizing power, decision-making, money, health, and so on, will be all decentralized. You will have the vote. You will have the electric power, uh, electoral power. You will have your own say in your health. You will have own say and own your own money, making you the bank banker, thanks to the crypto world. You will be able to dictate what your terms and conditions are to your service providers, which are called bureaucrats. The power of the decentralization, the World Wide Web, you the people are the World Wide Web. It was, highly, it was successfully hijacked about 20 years ago when they talked people out of the torrents. Well, the torrents are back. It's got a new name and it's got a new system of safeguard, what they call uh, fail-safes called blockchain. Because of the fail-safe systems in place, the power, the knowledge, you being the bank banker, you being in charge of your own health, making decisions on your behalf, being in a position of electoral power like the Electoral College, and that you don't give up your electoral powers to a third party known as a politician, because our politicians are going to become obsolete. You will be able to conduct your own affairs. Who needs a politician when you're in charge of your own money? And not decent and not centralized like the Federal Reserve or Bank of England or the Euro. Who is in need of a politician on finance? Who needs a fin finance secretary? If you're conducting your affairs yourself, who needs a finance minister? You don't. Who needs a health minister? If you're in charge of your own health and the world's knowledge of how health works, as opposed to the pharmaceutical means maker of poisons and potions. If you're not in need of poisons and potions, well, obviously you're going to access the natural path of this world. You see where I'm going with this, ladies and gentlemen? The power of the decentralized organization, what is known as a starfish organization, is flooding this planet. Yes, yes. The centralized governments and the banks, the centralized organizations like the companies have that have monopolized 99.999% of the entire world's resources, finances, your health, your voting, your electoral power, will fight back and try to find a sweet spot. They'll find a sweet spot where they can speak to the ignorant, the stupid people that don't want to take custody of their money that don't want to take custody of their own health, that don't want to take custody of their own responsibility. They'll try to, on the back of them, say, well, you know, we got to use this system. You got to sign up to know, know your customer. Well, that's fine. And that may go that way for those people that want it that way. But the power of the decentralized organization is that the power has reverted. Ignorant people will always remain ignorant because that's the position that they want to be in. The companies will do their best to engineer ignorance and nescience, and they will do their best to engineer and talk people out of their wallets, i.e. their bank accounts, i.e. their health, and so on and so forth. But you, the intelligent men of me on, on this planet, the intelligent men and women on this planet, are not going to give up your wallets, your health, are you? In fact, you're going to use your knowledge to be able to make money from. So let me explain something to you, how this world is going to roll out. This is you, the authority, the pen. The pen is mightier than the sword. 
You have decided to do something, write a song, make a painting, make a contract that is unique. That means when you pen it, the middleman that always takes his cut, which is like 90% or 80%, leaves you only with that. So the originator has to go through a middleman in this era, sorry, in the uh, past era, has to go to the middleman and you have to give the middleman a cut. And I'll give you more examples. In order you to access the end user, the middleman who takes his cut has just disappeared. Has just disappeared. Where's the middleman? So, the 20%, the profit that you would make at optimum and then pay tax on it, all of that money reverts back to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let's give an example. You make a video, just as I did here, and you broadcast it on the World Wide Web, which belongs to the people, a decentralized organization, which means it doesn't need to go through YouTube, like the torrents of old. And on the back of that, you get, say, 50,000 views. That means 50,000 unique people have watched your video and are going to watch it. And because of that, other groups, men and women, say it's a matter of health. Other practitioners who also practice good health can now approach you without the middleman, i.e. without uh, YouTube, and say, can I do a little uh, advert on you? And you say, that's fine, but tell me what is it you're going to say, because I don't deal with potions and poisons. I don't deal with pharmaceutical stuff. I deal with the herbs of the nation, as Dr. Sebi so <laughs> eloquently used to put it. That revenue that would normally go to YouTube or Google, all of it will come to you. So that is you. That is you. That's the end user. The middleman has dropped out because he's got no place. And in between now comes a person that wants to benefit from your work and he wishes to make contract with you called a smart contract. You write that contract out and you say, yeah, I'll give you some hair space, air space, advertising space, as long as you meet my criteria. And the criteria is that you don't sell poisons and potions on my health channel. All of that revenue comes to you. The middleman YouTube will no longer be there. And I know it's very difficult, it's very challenging for the average man and woman on the streets listening to this to ever imagine a world without a centralized organization. It's very hard for them to appreciate what the world would be without a Federal Reserve Bank. It's very hard for people to appreciate what it would be like not to have Washington DC, which is foreign to the American people, always telling them what to do. It's very hard to appreciate what the world is going to look like without a Joe Biden, without a principality, because you've been so brainwashed into thinking you can never do without these acting buffoons. You understand what I'm saying to you?